In the last episode, we discovered parts of Isla Mujeres, which is a beautiful island off the coast of Cancun. And then we finished out tonight partying in Cancun's famous hotel zone full of a lot of bars and clubs. In this episode, we will first look at the difference between the Cancun that typically comes to our mind and the other Cancun, which is actually the majority of Cancun further inland away from the hotel zone. And you might be surprised to see what we find in the other Cancun. On my last day in Cancun, I decided to walk in the main part of the city and to my surprise, I found a lot of very interesting street art. And of course, I found a cute local coffee shop with a beautiful courtyard where I treated myself to a matcha latte. Being that I was in the more local part of the city, I definitely had to try some street foods. The main differences that I saw, in my opinion, between the hotel zone and the main part of Cancun is that the hotel zone is very well maintained, but quite commercialized. The rest of the city, however, seemed more authentic with many more local spots that were less likely to overcharge you, but I have to say, a lot of the main part of Cancun seemed very run down. So separate are these two contrasting worlds of Cancun that you could literally arrive at the airport and never see the other Cancun on the way to the hotel zone. After spending some time in the main part of Cancun, I decided to walk down Kukulkan Boulevard back towards the hotel zone. This boulevard is basically Cancun's main street and its tourist zone and is actually quite long at about 15 miles or even longer. After walking a little bit we arrive at Marina Puerto Cancun which is a high-end shopping center in Cancun's marina area. From the moment I entered the shopping center, I honestly felt I was somewhere in Florida. And I decided to first check out the boardwalk behind the mall to enjoy the beautiful views.
At this point, it was time to go to the second floor to check out the views from up top. <laughs> 